Hi, my name is Jim Marr and I'm a Senior Content Specialist here at Kaplan Swasure. In this video, we're going to take a look at a question that always seems to give candidates a little bit of trouble while preparing for the CFA Level 1 exam. So let's go ahead and dive right in. It's from the topic area of ethical and professional standards and specifically additional compensation. And here we got Chris. She's a portfolio manager for a large investment firm. She's been offered compensation in addition to what her firm pays her. The offers from one of her clients and the additional compensation will be based on her yearly performance in excess of the market index. Now, what should she do? A, make written disclosure to all parties involved before she accepts this offer. B, make written disclosure to her other clients before she accepts this offer. Or C, turn down the offer because it represents a clear conflict between this client and Babcock's other clients. So what do you think is the best answer choice in this situation? Well, if you went with A, you would be correct. Make written disclosure to all parties involved before she accepts this offer. And it's all about the standard on additional compensation arrangements. And that standard simply states that no gifts, benefits, compensation, or other consideration are to be accepted, which may create a conflict of interest with the employer's interest unless written consent is received from all parties. And the key words here are written consent. Members must obtain written consent because such arrangements may affect loyalties and objectivity and create potential conflicts of interest. Well, I'd like to thank you for tuning into this video. Please visit the Swayzer website for more helpful videos on similar topics and have a great day.